Would you like to learn how to use Facebook Messenger to close more deals this year? If so, this is the video for you. Check this out. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel. So if you're unfamiliar with the channel, my name is Kevin Smolin. Uh, channel is called 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. That's my company. Uh, I know that's a mouthful, but it stands for quality and quantity. That's what we do is we help agents generate more quality and quantity leads on Facebook. And uh, we teach them a four-step marketing system that will add several transactions to uh, their production per month and only take less than an hour of their week, uh, hour of their time per week to do it. So today what we're going to be talking about is I'm going to be showing you a lot of uh, things about Facebook Messenger that you probably don't know. I would say this is one of the most underutilized tools uh, that Facebook offers and um, it definitely fills a need. So one of the things you've probably been told the majority of your career is that the money is in the follow-up, right? So generating a lead and, and getting people to start interacting with you, frankly, that's not that difficult because I've shown lots of videos and uh, that's what my channel is full of. So uh, if you wanna go check out some of those videos, feel free to do so. But generating a lead, frankly, isn't that hard. Converting a lead is another story. And so people that I find that are consistent in their follow-up and they're meticulous about the way that they do it and they're organized, they're the ones that always do better. It's not because they're, any better at the promotion, they're any better at um, running ads. It's Frankly, it's not even about that. It's really just about the follow-up. It is everything. And so Facebook uh, Messenger has a great tool, and uh, I'm gonna show you some things that you probably didn't know about it that will help you close some more sales. So with that, I am going to uh, just go ahead and share my screen here, and uh, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna pull this uh, down over here for a second. Now, Facebook Messenger. Um, there's a couple different versions of it. And so the first thing that you want to make sure that you know is that um, Facebook Messenger, um, we're not talking about the one on your personal profile. We're talking about the one that's linked to your business page. So this is a page that I use for training purposes all the time. And right now you're looking at the page format where you would be posting stuff and all kinds of stuff, right? Now, um, you've seen from previous videos, examples like this, where you're asking people to leave a comment and it's, it's using what's called Facebook chat bots or messenger bots. And it's uh, originating a conversation where you're going back and forth, uh, having a conversation with the prospect and getting to the point where basically you know enough about them and they know you and there's trust. And so um, with that conversation that you've started, it's a great way to be doing business, right? Now, I'm gonna, if you're unfamiliar with this process, I'm gonna leave a link right up here um, to where you can go get, um, or you can watch a video on how to set this up. That's not the point of today's video. But as people leave a comment, <clears throat> there's this conversation that starts going back and forth. And this is where people just, in my opinion, they let the chat bot to do too much of the follow-up and they don't do enough themselves. So where you're gonna find this is if you go to your page, up here there's this inbox. Now this is the Facebook Messenger that is specific to your business page. And this is where I'm gonna be spending my time because the one that's specific to your business page is different, yes, is different than the one that's attached to your personal profile. There's different functionalities and different things here. So again, what most people are familiar with is you've got these conversations on the side and you can click on it and it'll pull up the conversation that you've had back and forth. And again, these are the, the Facebook Messenger bots that are going back and forth, right? That's what uh, the majority of these are because that's what I use this account for is just to kind of demonstrate this. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this particular video is I'm gonna be showing you how to use this for following up. Now, for the purpose of, oops, boy, that made me really huge. <laughs> for the purposes of what I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm just gonna move my video up, or the, the screenshot up here to the top because we're gonna be using all kinds of stuff over here. So the beauty of this, and here's what's super cool about this, is Facebook recognizes that they have such a powerful platform that they're for business and marketing that they're turning their system into that more and more every single day. And so where Messenger used to be nothing more than just a message back and forth, they've upgraded it and they continue to upgrade it and I expect them to continue to upgrade it. It's at the point right now where it is a low level, yes I said that, a low level functional 
customer relationship management tool, CRM. It's built right into Facebook. And yes, you have to finagle it a little bit. And yes, it's not perfect. And that's okay. But it does the main things of what we need to do when you understand how to use it. So let me show you just a handful of things here that will help you close more sales. Because again, it's all about the follow up, right? Now, what happens a lot of time is people start following up and it's like, okay, the conversation goes a little cold. And so you're like, okay, I'll contact them tomorrow or I'll contact them the next day or whatever. So let's say that that happened with uh, this first contact here myself. Then I would just simply click on it, bring this up and see this little star. This means I need to, I'm, I've marked it as follow up, right? That means there's something about it I need to follow up on. And the other thing that's cool is down over here, there's this section about notes. So I can add a note, uh, check on him uh, Tuesday to see if he uh, would like a list of homes that are for sale, right? And so I can save that to his profile. And now, see, now this is starting to function like a little mini database, right? So I now know that this particular contact myself, woohoo, I'm awesome, <laughs> is that uh, I'm going to check with him tomorrow or Tuesday, see if they need a list of homes that are currently for sale. Okay, awesome. And if I ever want to go learn more about them, right, I can stalk them because this is totally acceptable in, in our day and age of social media. So if I don't know anything about my prospect, I can go here, I can start taking a look at, uh, you know, some of their pictures and seeing what they're all about. And that just gives me more things to talk about them. So if I see that they're a runner and I'm a runner, great thing to start talking about to, again, get that conversation going, right? So that is one set of features that are really nice is using this as a follow up. And then where that comes into play is I can start using these options up here to filter things, right? So that lets people know that I'm available. Here I can filter by <clears throat> different tags and different things that I'll show you, right? So with that, again, it just becomes one way of being able to follow up with people the way that you want to follow up with them, okay? Now, the other thing that you can do with this is you can do this to start um, tagging people and categorizing people. So let's say, for example, this contact right here, let's say that she had responded to a campaign that I generated for um, finding potential buyers. So I could come in here and see how it's got this label of buyer lead. I'm going to get rid of that just to show you. But right here, it gives me the ability to add a tag. So I've already created this tag of buyer lead, right? So now she's tagged as that. Um, I can also tag her with more. So let's say for example, she, um, she had responded to a property that was in Provo, Utah, right? So I could put um, buyer lead Provo. So that tells me that she's a buyer lead, but she's also interested in Provo properties, right? So I can add that tag to her as well. So now she's got these different labels. Uh, let's say this contact right here had responded to being a seller lead. So you see I've already created that tag because I knew I was going to do this training. But again, I would just come in here and tag her seller lead. And I might want to add a note that says uh, prepare CMA for Friday meeting. Okay. So if she had asked me to... Um, let's say they had asked me to come do a CMA and I'm going to go to their house and present it on Friday. Well, I can come down here. I can create that appointment and set it for Friday, which is the 21st. I can set it for whatever time. Let's say I'm headed over there at six. And then here's just a little message. Uh, hey, I will be bringing your market analysis for review and I'm not going to hit create appointment because this is a real person and I don't want to send them a fake appointment. So you get the idea. But the cool part about sending them an, an appointment like this is number one, they're going to receive it because of this conversation that's been going on back and forth. But at the same time, they're going to be reminded when that appointment gets closer, right? They're going to start getting appointment notifications through Facebook without you having to do anything, right? Again, super powerful. Let's say that you guys had gone back and forth and you were like, well, you know, um, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to come see you or go show you the home. Here's when I'm available. You could also use this send availability where I could say, okay, on Thursday, I could go show you the home at 2.30 or at 6.30 or 9 o'clock, right? Any of those work for you, 
right? And then I can send those over and they're gonna say, oh, those work and they can just click on the one that they want. So again, scheduling appointments and availability is also very cool through Messenger. That's this little calendar icon right down here, right? So I can just put the, prepare the CMA, I'm gonna save that note. And again, I'm gonna see all the notes and everything that's over here. So now I've got these different labels. And so what that allows me to do is as I come up here and search, I can go and find everybody with a certain label. So I can say, yeah, I wanna find everybody who's a buyer lead and here are my buyer leads. Or I want you to find everyone who is a, oops, seller lead. All right. And so now it's looking for people that are both and obviously nobody fits that description, but there's my seller lead, right? And so what ends up happening is you get all these people. Now here's where this starts to be really cool, right? I told you I created, or you saw that I created this one that is buyer leads in Provo. So let's say I've got a bunch of people that I know that are looking for homes in Provo. And so as I've been doing this for a while, now I've got a list of let's say 10 people and now I get a new listing in Provo. Guess what I can do? I can come in here. I can prepare a message, I can paste it right here, hit send, copy that message, go to the next person, send it, copy, send, copy, send, copy, send, copy, send. And within a couple of minutes, I've messaged everybody I know that is interested in properties in Provo. And again, that becomes very targeted, and guess what it's costing me to do this? Nada, right? That's what's beautiful about this. So I can label people with as many labels as I want. There's this manage label button right here, um, where I can add whatever labels I want. You can see the ones that I've already got and how many people I've been, have been tagged with those. So labels are awesome to be able to categorize all these different people. Notes are awesome to be able to track what's going on and kind of set like the next thing that needs to be done. Uh, again, you can use that uh, little follow-up, uh, <clears throat> that little follow-up star so that as you're going through your list, if you're just kind of scanning through, you can see the ones that have that star. Uh, some of my clients are running um, ads where they're asking someone to send them a message. That's the focal point of the ad. Uh, and so when that comes up, there will be a little blue button on here that said that they responded to the message ad. If it's the Facebook chat that's going back and forth, it won't have that on there. So the cool part about this is Facebook is making their system more and more of a market or of like a database. And if you know how to do it, you can segment your list go to the correct people, mark things for follow-up, add notes, tag and categorize people in certain ways, send appointments so that they're getting reminders. Again, it is a super powerful tool, and I promise you that the money is in the follow-up. Again, do you, know, want to know, do you want to know why you've heard that your entire career? <laughs> because it's true, right? And that is the focal point of this video, is showing you that Facebook has one of the most robust systems of marketing, staying in touch, contacts. Again, it's, it's insane what this tool allows you to do for free. Yeah, I did say that. So this was just a quick little tutorial about what's available in Facebook Messenger. Again, I, I've only scratched the surface of some of the things that you'll use the most frequently. There's other things in here that are uh, useful. So let's say you've got a team of multiple people. Um, you can actually have all of your people in here and assign people or assign the leads to different people. So certain people are communicating with certain people, right, or certain leads. So again, there's lots of robust tools in here. There's lots of things that are very, very cool. So I highly recommend that you come in here, take a little bit of time, get used to it, but most importantly, it's all about the follow-up. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. That is the one thing that determines your success really more than anything, follow-up. And Facebook is, has a system and a tool inside of it that is fantastic for that. So that was this video on how to generate more sales using Facebook Messenger. Hopefully you liked the video. Um, so the question for the day, here's the question for the day. Question for the day is, what's the most effective form of follow-up you've had so far? What's working for you in your business? Or maybe what's the one thing that you're trying to figure out that you haven't found to be successful? Leave a comment down below in the video. Um, because there's a lot of smart people in this uh, community. They can certainly give you feedback and, and responses. Uh, I'll do the same. And uh, we just want to make sure it's a great place for people to learn, to grow, to uh, benefit from each other. And thank you for being here. Now, if you are still here at this point in the video, then I would like to thank you. 
because you are my loyal people, you are the loyal subscribers, um, and hopefully I don't need to tell you this, but please subscribe if you haven't already. That way I can keep giving you more tools, um, more training, and more valuable resources. If you haven't already, hit the like button down below. That just helps us get more publicity and uh, get the video out to more and more people. And so uh, again, if you're here at this point in the video, thank you, I love you, I appreciate your support. And uh, stay tuned, we'll be here back, or we'll be back here for another video in the very near future. With that, make it a great week, take care, and we will talk to you soon.